A little higher. Okay, one, two, three, go. Oh boy. Well, it's more oscillatory than I expected. Whoa, look at that uh, overly aggressive turn. Okay, I'm going to turn. Eventually. Well, it made for more interesting video then, didn't it? <laughs> I'm waiting for the mid-air collision here. Yeah, please don't hit me. I think they're going to hit each other. Well, yeah, that's good. the difference in spin speed is going to excite the... So uh, you still got our little list of things yeah, to try. This is not as stable as I'd hoped for, but it's not, uh, you know. So your first one was uh, steady state full aileron turns against auto level. And uh, I think you're already doing that, aren't you? No. Um, but let me uh, work into it here. Okay, starting steady state full left, going gradually increasing the ailerons. Gradually increasing the ailerons, going up on throttle to keep. Also holding almost full up elevator to do it. Okay. Oh, I, and I backed off on the aileron accidentally, instinctively. Okay, I'm thinking, I think let's call that enough for the moment. The outdoor... Okay, coming back to level. Now, you still got all the auto level on? Yes, full auto okay. level. And if you go to the other P, that turns it off? Yes. Is that proportional? Yes. I would try backing off a little bit and see what happens. Okay, backing off auto level now. And you'll be ready to shove it back on if you have to. Okay, I'm at maybe half auto level right now. Okay. Well, Whoa. Whoa. The tip started to come up. That usually indicates a, a slip is developing. So it's not self-coordinating the turns. I'm having to do that somewhat manually. Yeah, I'm not too surprised about that. All right, so we need full auto level for now anyway. So what, what's one of the other ones we can try? Um, drive a hard slip with full rudder and opposite wheel. Oh, that's dangerous. That's very dangerous. I can see where that's going to. You gonna... can't turn off one motor. Not, no. Uh, you can try gliding. OK. Um, Don't go all the way down. Okay, reducing throttle, keeping the elevator constant, down to below half throttle now. Yeah, don't go to full cutoff. Yeah, because that'll lose my uh, yaw stability. Right. It seems to naturally want to turn left for some reason, but that's okay because I like turning left. Okay. <laughs> now that's looking a little bit better damped actually. Well, I'm almost at full idle. It's hard to tell by feel. Right. Going back up on throttle just to keep the airspeed up. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if, like, the gain is too high for the outboard panels. In there. That may be. That could well be, yeah. Okay, going back up to, like, two-thirds throttle. Okay. All right. Um, There's the stall one, which is a little dangerous. But right. the reason we're here is to learn and... and yeah, I'm tempted to say... Well, yeah, but every landing is a risk, so let's get what we can out of it. Okay, so the only other thing that you can do here... Oh, I can do the full left pulse, or the full aileron pulse. You can do an aileron pulse. Okay, so aileron pulse now. Whoa. Aileron wow. pulse to the right. That's, I kind of expected that. Do that again? I will. Yeah, they just do it so the pieces fall over the field. Understood. <laughs> and I'll need to land pretty soon. How much longer do you have? Oh, I have time. Okay, so I can swap batteries and then capture the uh, Well, maybe. 
I'll be there. Um, okay, full aileron pulse to the left now. Let's do that again where I can see it from the trailing edge now. Yeah, that uh, kind of uh, S-curve thing was kind of expected. Okay, so you're at what throttle now? I'm at two-thirds throttle maybe. Okay, so why don't you try the same thing at about one-third throttle? Okay. Let me set it up though. Okay, coming around the corner at one third throttle. Actually, that's more like half. Okay, leveling out. Aileron pulse to the right. Yeah, more damped. Pulse to the right, more damped. Okay, that was a worthwhile experiment. Okay, so the other thing we haven't done is tried full auto level, um, full up elevator, reducing throttle till it stalls. That's dangerous, but we got to learn somehow, right? Right. Okay, but we don't have our in-air video. Well, we've got our ground video. I think we should keep moving because we'll run out of battery. I don't know how quick Tim can get back up. He's doing a he tip, tip, tip stop. Yeah, he ran back. He's putting a battery in. Uh, our, okay. Um, these batteries will last kind of a long time on this thing. Yeah, but it's you relative. don't want to lose one. No, no. Although, well, we do eventually, but not now. Right. So okay. it does seem to be happier at lower okay. throttle settings. Okay. That's <coughs> so maybe that'll actually help us. Well, just waiting for Tim then. All right. You know what I could do is an elevator pulse too. It's kind of a non-event. Uh, yeah. That was full up elevator. There's full down elevator. Also mostly a non-event. Wait for him to get into the air. Okay, Tim, yep. He is now. Okay. Straight out in front of you. Turn to your right a little bit. Let me know when you're on station. Okay, getting ready to do an aileron pulse. That looks so weird from this perspective. Okay, now an aileron pulse at lower throttle. More damped. Okay, now I just got to make the turn. I'm trying not to get so close so that that would keep the whole thing. Yeah, in yeah and, and it's safer that way. Okay, getting ready to do the uh, low throttle. Well, let's start, let's start feeding up elevator and reducing throttle. This could get ugly here, folks. Feeding an up elevator. Feeding an up elevator, full up elevator, full low throttle. Whoops, I said I wasn't gonna do that, which is why I lost yaw control, because I was at full idle. Yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, but nothing, but nothing happened. Nothing weird there. Nothing bad happened at all. Okay, wind up turn at high power and high bank angle against partial auto level. Well, I think we've already gone as far as we can even against full auto level because it, at high power, right. it, it starts to get ugly. Um, now, let's see, have you been at full auto level recently or do you still at half? I'll tell you what, I just took off a portion of the auto level. I'm starting to wind up the turn. Going up to more and more ailerons, feeding in rudder as well. I'm at full rudder now and feeding in ailerons to go with. Whoa. Oh, that's doing much better. Yeah, it's starting to lose it on the inside tip. Okay, right, that's yeah. as far as I can well, go with you that. I had that inside tip almost stopped. So. I know, I know. <laughs> um, I have some airflow to hold it up. So that, yeah, exactly. Now, so, so what auto level was that at? That was at maybe 50%. It's hard to tell by feel. You could look at the switch in the back, but... Uh, yeah, you're somewhere around 50. Hey, this would be good time to talk about the uh, smoke in the air. Okay, so what else is there to do? Anything else on the list? Uh, there's nothing else here that you, you can do without changing program. Okay. So, Tim, I'm going to do an elevator pulse. I don't think you've seen one of those. Now, the only other thing would be completely go off on the auto level. Um, 
Okay. Um, all right, let's try that. Let's do that. I'm going to turn around so I'm not fit headed towards the trees. I think it wants to turn left when I do that. So going off on auto level now. That's full auto level off. Okay, go back on. Going back on. It's not a great idea, but it, it doesn't immediately fall out of the sky. Right. Let's uh, do a full idle for, uh, for, since we now know that it'll do it. This is with auto level, but at, at low throttle. And then we're going to land because I don't know how much battery you got left. Okay, you have a slight wind from your right. Very slight. I hear you. It doesn't matter which way you land. Okay. So going to full idle now. Full idle, that is full idle right there, full idle. And you see it wants to go into a left hand turn. Okay. But no harm coming up on the power now and turning around, setting up a landing approach. It doesn't feel like I have as much power as I did before. So now is a good time to start landing. I realize I don't want to hit those trees over there. Yeah. I think I can turn tight enough to you not can be. You totally turn tight enough. The wind has shifted us now a little bit behind us. Right. Not enough to matter. Well, part of the problem is I lose some yaw authority as I go to lower and lower throttle settings. Right. I'm on this side of the trees, I think. I think you are too. Yep, you are. So, yeah, you're, you're good. I'm good now. Coming up on throttle, leveling. Yeah, that turned tighter than I expected, actually. Okay. Whoa. Pull up elevator. <laughs> <laughs> what we really need is uh, airspeed adjustable gains. Now, I don't. You'll put it this way. You always need airspeed adjustable gains. Okay, let's just keep gentle tension and walk it back. No, because I, I can't put it on the bench, okay. um, so and it's easier on my knees to take it apart in the grass. So let's just take it back to where we started.